Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editor X. Today we will learn how to build a mega menu using multi-state box. So multi-state box is a new feature that came to Editor X, which is really exciting. And in my opinion, this is like a super feature that allows you to create multiple versions of, of design with different content uh, with the same uh, component. All right, so in this example, we will create mega menu, which in my opinion, this is the easiest way to create a mega menu. So you can see here I have um, the header with a menu. When I click on topics, I see my content for this uh, topics category. And if I go to shop, I have a different co uh, content, right? If I hover out this multi-state box, it will close automatically. And you can see that it also scrolled down with me. So it's actually inside this header. All right. Uh, this template, this uh, design I took from these templates. Uh, you can find it in the uh, Editor X templates page. Uh, so you can use it to recreate what I'm going to show you. All right, so I promise you this is super easy and uh, although it, it with code, but the code is very, uh, very clear how to deal with. So here, this is the editor and here you can see the design I have for my topics uh, menu, all right? For only for this tab, mm -hmm. like what we see here. Here we have a different one, but I'm talking about the first menu, all right? So first of all, let's uh, add multi-state box, all right? So I will toggle off my dev mode because I want to show you why you you why maybe you you don't see it. So it sit in under layout tools, right here. But right now you don't see it because you have to toggle on the um, the dev mode to see it. So let's turn it on. And now if I go to layout tools, you can see multi state box, All right? Amazing. So let's create another section and put the mega menu inside a the multi state box inside this container. Let's set it to be 100% and center it. All right, something like this. So let's see in the layers panel why is multi-state box. As you can see, it have a, has a unique uh, icon and its ID is multi-state box. If I toggle to not display the IDs, it calls simply multi-state box, all right? So inside the multi-state box, by default, by default, you can see two containers. So if I select the box number two, nothing happens. But if I select, select box number three, you can see I have a different color, which is different box. So each time you see only one box, all right? Um, so first of all, let's copy our, let's take our design. I will copy it, C, V. And drag it inside my multi-state box and it's go inside the first I need to change the name but inside the the first state all right so let's stretch it so we'll it will fill the container all right amazing so let's toggle back to the IDs and give it immediately the right ID all right so this container or is it? So this container, this state, should open when I click on the topics, right? So let's change the ID, rename it to top picks state. And you can see in my, the button ID, I already changed it to topics button, right? 
So topic buttons should show us this uh, this content, right? And again, this is inside the multi-state box, inside the topics state. So the second one, this one, should stand for the shop state, right? So let's change the ID to shop state. Great. But now I will I will take same design as I have here for topics. I will change it to uh, you know what? Let's drag it inside first and stretch it. Great. And now let's change the title to shop. All right. And we can also change the image. Let's change it to something else. Uh, I don't know, this one. And let's restore the proportion. Great. Okay, so this is the shop. And if I will go to the multi-state box, let's select it from here. Multi-state box, change many state, uh, states. And I will go to shop picks. You see, I have different content. For each state, I have different content, right? So for this example, we only need two states. I, I, I won't create all the states. It's not important. Um, all right. So now we are jumping to the code. Okay. And it's... Uh, you know what, let's preview it. You see, you see now that we are on the shop state, but if I preview the site, it will jump back to the first state, which is the topics, okay? So right now, if I click, nothing happened. I want to toggle between these states. Let's go back and, and let's, this is the, I will show you now how you toggle between states. Um, it's super, super easy. And later we will create it like uh, smarter, a bit smarter. All right. So first of all, I need to select my button. I will open, you see here it suggests you to open the master page JS because this component is inside master and must, and this header is inside all our pages. So we need code that will run on all pages. All right, but for, for now I will do it right here. So let's select the uh, shop, shop button and on click, what do we, we want to do on click? We want to change the state, right? So I need to select the parent, which is the multi-state box. Let's copy this ID and we are saying multi-state box and the, here is the magic change state and it should get the state name that you want to change to. So this is not this container, it's the parent container because we put a container inside the state. So this is the container you can see here. Uh, yeah, this is the this is the state, shop state. And we, we will simply copy this ID and put it right here. So multi state box, change state to shop state. So let's see if it's working. Let's preview the site. Now we will see here the topics. When, it, when we click shop, it's not change. Why it's not change? Let's see it again. shop state this is shop and this is the shop button when i click on it multi-state box one
change state to shop state. It should work. Okay, it's working. I don't know why it's not working before. As you can see, I he see here shop state. All right, I mean, so this is the whole idea. All right, so right now, what do we need to do? We need to put it inside our header, which is in pin position. So all we need to do is to select the multi-state box and drag it right inside our header. All right, so I put it right here. So right now it, it, it is located inside the header. See, this is the header. All right, but you can see that it's cover everything. So I can simply arrange, send to back, and now it's behind everything, all right? So let's set it to be 100% centered. And I can push it same height as is my header so my header is 90 pixel height so let's select again the multi-state box and set it uh, give it margin of 90 pixels all right so if i will publish the site so we will ruin what we did here but we will fix it later so let's refresh the site and you can see wait you can see that i see the topics but it's it always opened all right it's when i'm scrolled down it's always come with me i don't want to see it right so here is oh w w and if i click shop it's changed to shop all right amazing so this is the magic right here all right this is the the idea how to to open and close uh, the multi-state box. So what I'm going to do, I will create another state and I will call it empty, em empty state. All right, so this empty state, for now, I will set the height of it to be instead of 300 one pixel all right so but also i will change it to be the first one that means that by default it will be the first one i can delete these extra sections that i don't need let's republish it And now you can see that I don't see anything, okay? I see only one pixels with the background of the multi-state box, okay? So I scroll down and I see nothing. But if I click on shop, so right now we see the shop state, right? But now we stuck with the shop. We need to toggle between them and also decide when to collapse it. All right, so let's select the topics because we would like to ch change to topics, but I will delete this one because you know what, I will, I will copy it and we will, uh, right now we will write the code inside the master page JS because again, this is inside the header and when I go to a different page, I would like it to work also, right? Not specifically in the home page all right so let's do it a bit smarter so first of all i need i will create a function because we will have a multiple uh, uh, buttons i don't want to rewrite the code over and up but uh so, but to to create a function that do the work for me all right so i will call this function init mega menu all right and here i will write all the actions for the buttons all right so for example the shop button when you click on it 
Now I don't want to write this line over and over because if I change this state name with the ID name, I don't want to, to, to change it over and over. So first of all, I will change the multi-state box name to something more um, specific because maybe you will use uh, more than only one in your site. So I will call it mega menu multi-state what? what happened my internet is not stable but mega menu multi-state box all right I will change it here and I will create a function that says mm, function um, open relevant menu all right and here I will copy I will cut this one and paste it right here and instead of shop state I will this function will get the state that I want to to go to and here I will call state all right so here so each time I click on button I will simply pass the state that I want to change to all right so let's call this function open relevant menu and pass it the state I want to go to all right so let's copy these lines of code and I just I just need to change the button ID so now when we are clicking on top picks button I will go I want to go to top top picks state right so let's just make sure that this is the ID I gave to my mega menu uh, top picks state so this is the ID and it's look the same all right so remember that this code is running inside the master page JS and to activate it I need to call this init me mega menu function inside the already so let's publish the site and refresh the live site and as you can see we don't see nothing but if I click topics I see topics if I go to shop I see shop easy right so right now we fix the toggle between states but we need a way to close it so the idea is I want to each time I'm hovering a section because this uh, topics is uh, is open right now when I'm hovering out I'm actually hovering a section behind of it right so I will create another function called function close uh, mega menu all right and simply what I'm doing here I will copy the change state but I, I won't do hide or collapse or something like this. I simply change the state to the empty state. Remember the state that the height of it is one pixels. And when I will call this uh, close mega menu, each time I'm hovering a section. All right. So. I cannot select, I mean I can, I can select this specific section and it will work but only for this specific section, on section 4. But I like to do it for all the section there is inside our site. So I can type instead of section ID I can type with capital S sections right section on mouse in 
uh, yeah on mouse in we like to call to close to close the mega menu all right it looks like an error but it's not section yeah it's not all right so let's publish it so let's publish publish this site <coughs> and see the live site and let's refresh it So if I click top picks, it's open. When I'm hovering out, it's closed. So let's uh, scroll down and see when I'm hovering out, it's closed. Amazing, it's work perfectly. So that's it, this is what you should know. Super easy. Uh, we can also add some, um, I, I can select the uh, multi-state box and add some shadow to, to see the, so we can see the difference between um, the background and the multi-state box. Let's set it to be 50, I don't know, oh, maybe it's too much. But anyway, uh, let's keep it this way. You can do like 30 and 30. Maybe, I don't know. I just, it's not so important. But anyway, let's refresh it. Now you can see that I have the shadow. All right? Let's scroll down with me. Amazing. All right, so I didn't go over the the mobile, but anyway, I think in mobile it won't work. Uh, you should create another one, and you can put it inside the hamburger menu. Um, so so you can you can still uh, create another one um, suitable for for mobile specifically. So how can you? copy this code all right I have an idea so let's create another one another state so I will change this body to um, code all right and its ID is code button and so all I need to do, I need to copy these lines of code and paste it and change the button ID to code button. And what I want to open, I want to open the code state, which I didn't create yet. So let's remove it blank. And let's go to the multi-state box, manage states, add new state. This is the new state I have. I will set it to be black. So it will be very different from the others. Let's add a text element. Set it, let's edit the text to be grayish. And it should be like 80%, super centered. And I will copy my code, all of it, and paste it right here. So now you have it, but I see that the container is not growing. So let's set it to be auto. But now you see that it's bigger than my screen height. Okay, it's not good. And also you should know that you cannot set the overflow content of multi-state box container to be scroll. So the solution is I will select my text and play, paste it in place it inside a container. And this container will be a height auto, but 
max height will be let's say 17 viewport you know what i know this is 90 percent so let's go to calculation so the maximum height will be 100 let's do uh 90 viewport height minus 90 pixels all right so if i have mo so right now we still don't see the rest we don't have the scroll so let's add overflow content to scroll right now we can scroll inside amazing so let's add some uh this is the container let's make it a hundred percent and auto and let's add some padding 100 pixels paddings on all and let's change it to percent all right so oh i forgot i need to change the uh state name to code code state um you see this is new state code state and the text element is inside this container and when i click on the code button i open the relevant menu to code state let's publish it and see if it, if it's working it should work all right so if i click code now i see the code you can copy the code from here and if i'm hovering out it's close if i if i do it like 100 percent from the height so we couldn't close it right you should add like button and then you know what let's do it because if you don't want to use the mouse out so simply um just for the practice right i will add here a button and call it let's put it on top change close close menu all right so simply if i change the id to close menu button so i can copy this line sorry i can copy this line on click and close button menu instead of open relevant menu i can close the mega menu call this function see it's very scalable so i can do it super easy so, and of course you can change the on click instead of on click button you can change to mouse in and then you don't have to click it you just hover the buttons so let's see if if it's working when i click here close menu and it's close the menu super easy all right so that's it i hope uh, um it will help you with uh, your mega menu and anything you need to create you want to create with multi state box and till next time keep building amazing sites on editor